If you are looking to discover the beauty of Transylvania on the saddle of the top of the line motorcycle, then Otisway Motor Rent is the place to be. Experience the drill of the ride and stunning landscapes that await you. Book your motorcycle now at Otisway Motor Rent. Hello, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Today it's Thursday, Gabby. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's Thursday. 2nd of we, November. Yes, we just left our hotel in Makats and we are going to Cuenca today. But we have a news, we don't ride only by ourselves. We are riding with Conrad today. Conrad is a fellow rider from Germany. He shipped the bike with the same container to Hamburg to Cartagena like we do. And we meet him two nights ago in uh, which lake, Gabby? Kyoloto. Kyolo Kyolota. <laughs> Kyolota Lake. Kyolota Lake. And uh, yesterday he arrived before us in uh, Makaz. And, uh, and we shared the same hotel. We had a beer last night. and. Now we are riding together to Kenka, but the road is close here, so let's see where we are going. So join us guys, it's going to be a beautiful riding day again, I think we're going to ride in the mountains, we are not sure. There are two, three, several roads from uh, Makas to Kenka, but we choose the most difficult one between the mountains, because that's why we came to see beautiful landscapes and ride beautiful roads. So join us and uh, see you later. Take it on. Ciao, ciao. The city of Cuenca was only 235 kilometers from Macaz if we had taken the Highway 45 along the Apono River. But since this road seemed a bit boring, we decided to turn right towards the mountains and continue on the Highway 40. Although this detour was longer, we didn't regret it at all. The landscape was simply breathtaking, winding roads, stunning views and picturesque valleys accompanied us along the way, all the way to Cuenca.
Lazar Dam is located just above the Pote Dam on the Pote River only about 125 kilometers from the city of Cuenca. The Pote River, a major tributary of the Santiago River, is ultimately part of the Amazon Basin. This water system links Ecuador's highland region to the lower-lying rainforest area. The collaboration between the Mazar and the Pote dams helps regulate the river, reducing the flood risks and playing a vital role in Ecuador's electricity supply. It was already afternoon when we spot a small piglet roasting on the spit by the roadside. The smell was enticing. The scent of crispy skin, smoke and fresh meat filled the air. We didn't think twice. We sat down and ordered, hoping for a true feast. But when our plates arrived, all we find was roasted pork skin and corn. Instead of juicy meat, we were left with tiny overpriced morsel that didn't live up to our expectation in flavor or portion. We left disappointed, but promised ourselves that the dinner would be much bigger and much more satisfying. Cuenca lay just an hour away, but as we left behind the Porte River Valley and right closer to the city, the landscape transformed dramatically. The lush evergreen rainforest gradually gave way to barren, dry terrain, as if we had entered an entirely different world. Guys, we just arrived to the town of Cuenca. Now we're going to the city center and we need to get in contact with Conrad because we came separately and look for accommodation. And we're gonna spend the beautiful afternoon here in the town. I think maybe tomorrow morning we are leaving. Conrad, I think he will stay, don't know yet. We'll see. So, let's see what Cuenca has to offer to us. Bye now. Bye bye. Hi guys. Hello. We arrived Hi, to in Cuenca. Cuenca. We are in Cuenca. We arrived to Cuenca after a very long day. Everybody scam us today with the food, with the accommodation, with everything. But Public now, holiday. Yeah. It's a uh, Dias Les Todos Muertos, no? Si. That was yesterday and today. No, it's today. Uh, uh, no, no, no. They keep it today. Some today, the uh, first and the second of yeah, November. Yeah, since, yeah, yeah, they Two combine days. it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. And uh, so, today is the Dias Les Todos Muertos, the dead, the dead people's day. And uh, everything is uh, super expensive. We hardly find uh, accommodation below $100 per room, which is exorbitating for uh, Ecuador, no? It is, but it is in, in, it is. In, in Quito, we, 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 we have this day with 25, 
per nine and now it's one hundred so per we, nine. We and we are in front of the church now. We go to pray to have a better uh, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no. So no complaining. Let's let, let's enjoy Cuenca. Yeah, 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 yeah. So join us, guys. Stick We're gonna show you how it's Cuenca. Ciao. After strolling through the enchanting streets of Cuenca, admiring the old buildings and the vibrant spectacle of the Day of Dead Carnival, we start to feel quite hungry, especially since lunch hadn't been all that filling. So we were really thrilled when we finally find a cozy restaurant in a beautiful old colonial building, where at least we were able to enjoy a hearty, satisfying dinner. After the great dinner, we walked back to the most expensive accommodation of our trip so far and we tried to get some rest. and uh, yeah. Conrad is going to join us today as well because your reservation get cancelled. Yeah, yeah. yeah initially, I, initially I wanted to stay another day in Cuenca. Cuenca is, uh, is really nice. But currently there's holidays so everything is booked out and they cancelled my, my, my reservation. That means that I will be joining Attila and Gavi for one more day on our trip towards the Peruvian border. Great. See you later. Ciao. Good morning. Good morning. Today is Friday morning. We are in Cuenta. It's a beautiful city, but it's a money making machine. We don't like it because they extra charge for everything. For everything. And uh, now we are leaving. We are trying to reach the Peruvian border today. We need to go as south as possible today. And uh, Conrad is writing with us, but he already left like one hour, maybe one hour and a half. What time is it now? 11. Yeah, he left or, almost two hours ago. So we need to catch him up. Then we're gonna ride together. We have 400, more than 400 kilometers to the Peruvian border. Google said it's gonna take 
eight hours and a half. We're gonna make it faster, but we need to hurry up. So stay with us. See you later. Ciao. Take it down. Ciao, ciao. The quality of Ecuador's road network is surprisingly good, making travel across the country convenient and efficient. One particularly interesting aspect is the numbering of the roads. For example, north-south routes are indicated with odd numbers, while east-west routes are marked with even numbers. This numbering system helps travelers easily identify their direction. What caught our attention once again is that while the area around Cuenca is dry, as we travel further south, the environment changes from valley to valley. In some areas the scenery is lush and green, with vibrant vegetation, while in the others the landscape is dry and barren. So guys, we have like a hundred more kilometers to the Ecuadorian and the Peruvian border. But uh, Conrad decided that uh, too late. He, yeah, that it's too late and he's not going to ride anymore. So we're going to stop with him. There is a village somewhere down here in the valley. If you find something on the internet, he said that it will be okay for a night, so we're gonna stop with him and we're gonna continue tomorrow to the border. It was a beautiful day. We ride, I don't know, I think 300 some kilometers on very, very beautiful roads. It was a great day. Thank you that you join us. Day and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. On a new day. Ciao. Ciao.